Today, we are looking at Eyewitness, the tool that can help you focus on the targets that matter the most. What is Eyewitness? Well, Eyewitness is an incredible tool that allows you to quickly get a feel for what assets to target first. I mean, we all know hundreds of content discovery tools and they give us vast amount of data, but do we ever focus on efficiently parsing all that data? How do you go through hundreds of endpoints? If you're currently doing it manually, then maybe this video can be of great help to you. Okay, how does Eyewitness attempt to help us? Well, it achieves that by taking screenshots of every asset and showing you those screenshots alongside some header information and potential default credentials if applicable. It's as simple as that, but it's really nice. Uh, however, listening to what this tool does is interesting and all, but the real meat of this video obviously comes in to play when we start using this tool. So let's do just that. How to install Eyewitness. You can't run a tool without installing it first, but luckily it is incredibly easy and I'll show it right here. So as we can see, installing it consists of two steps. First, we did a git clone of the repository and then we just ran the setup.sh script and that's all you need to do. As you can see, it's installing and if all goes well, we should be good to go and to actually go and run it. Our first run. So let's get into actually running Eyewitness and this is gonna be very interesting but there's one last thing that we need and that is a list of domain names that we're going to target. And this can obviously easily be gotten from your reconnaissance tools and if you want to learn more about reconnaissance then definitely check out the hacking tools page in the Integrity Hack Academy where we have already covered a ton of tools but you can just grab the output from one of these tools and feed it into Eyewitness. So I have already made a file here domains.txt that contains some domains. Now let's run eyewitness on it. So I'm gonna run eyewitness-f and then domains.txt, so my domains file, and start the tool. And let's take a look at its output. So first of all, it will start to make all of these web requests. Uh, it will attempt to screenshot these pages. And after it has done that, it will automatically I'll open um, the result in your browser. So now let's switch over to the browser and let's take a look at these results. So this result page, it starts off by showing us some categories that it categorized these requests in. So you, it automatically filters out the unauthorized, the not found requests, uh, errors, bad, bad requests, uh, all of that kind of stuff so that you don't need to really be concerned with that. And that we can just look at the pages that actually return something interesting. So as you can see, there were 13 pages here. So let's take a look at these results. And one result here shows um, the headers, the response headers of that request. And then you also have the screenshots and you can see that we have a ton of screenshots here. And from that, we can obviously select the endpoints that we are most interested in. So the ones that we want to start attacking. And that is how you can efficiently grab thousands of, of endpoints and look through all of them and see which one you want to hack. Features of Eyewitness. We've just ran the tool, but that was in its most basic configuration and any good tool obviously is configurable so that you can make it run the way that you want it to run and include it in your tool chain. Um, so let's see what Eyewitness has in store for us. With almost any tool, you can run this with dash dash help to review all of these, these options for yourself. But first, let's get into some input options. And the first one that I'm going to cover here is dash F. We've already seen it before. That's just your file that contains uh, URLs each on a new line. However, you can also input XML with the dash X option. This is useful for if you've already run an Nmap scan or a Nessa scan and you want to import those results into this tool and take the screenshots. Um, so those are the most interesting input options. Then let's move on to some timing options because sometimes you need to go fast 
and other times you need to slow down and these options can help you with that. These are all fairly uh, self-explanatory, however, please take a close look at these because on some programs you are gonna wanna stay within the required limits uh, for the amount of requests that you can send. So definitely always be wary of that. Then we can move on to some really quickly some report output options. These are very limited. You can choose the directory it sets, puts the reports in and some minor other things. However, the web options on the other hand are fairly interesting because these might also be required for a bug bounty program. For example, setting a custom user agent, which can be done with that option. Besides that, you can also um, change proxies. So if you wanna proxy all the traffic to burp so you can review it or whatnot, you can do that. The dash dash show dash selenium option is also interesting because if you uh, enable that, then you will see all of the browser windows pop up where the screenshot is taken. So that's really cool as well. Besides that, you can do some things with ports so you can select which ports are going to be um, are going to be used using HTTP, which are which are going to be scanned with HTTPS. You can select which ports are used altogether, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but that's mainly it for the web options. Lastly, there's one more option that I need to discuss, and this is a really cool one because this is a resume option. Obviously, sometimes you are going to scan a ton of endpoints, thousands, tens of thousands, and this program is going to crash. For some reason, it's going to crash. And um, you would have to start all over again, even if you were 60% done. But luckily there is a resume feature here. So if a crash happens, everything is saved to a database file, the ew.db file. And you can just supply dash dash resume and then that ew.db file. And uh, then you're safe because it will just resume where it left off without having to do everything again. So that's a really, really nice one. And these were the options that I wanted to discuss with you today. Conclusion on Eyewitness. Eyewitness is a simple yet powerful tool designed to help you get more efficient in your post reconnaissance phase. I would suggest to just start using it today to hack even faster and more efficiently. Now that was it for this week's video of Hacker Tools. If you would like to recommend a tool for us to cover throughout the next weeks, then be sure to let us know down below in the comment section. Also be sure to check out the article on this tool and to check out the previous articles and videos on other tools that you will use as a bug bounty hunter. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Take care everybody.